Hey there everyone, it's Peter here from the Joomla Beat podcast and this video episode I'll be going through one of my most favorite sliders for websites. It's called Unite Revolution Slider for Joomla and this is what I use on the Joomla Beat website. It's absolutely fantastic. I love it and we just rolled it out on a portfolio site as well on the PB web development site and if I just scroll through here you can see just how it animates and why I actually love this slider here. You can actually animate every last single element on the slider here from the text to the, the read more links and also the images that come up on the site. So you can see here they animate at different rates and at different times as well. And if we have a look at the portfolio page, you can see how I've implemented it on our portfolio itself. I'll just scroll down to Os Roads down here. And you can see the elements really take effect when the slider kicks in. The background animates the text and you can see here that the laptop and the uh, what do you call it the mobile phone here animated at different times I can refresh that and you can see that again background comes in and the laptop and the mobile slides in at different rates and you can choose how you want this to animate and slide things in at different times different rates, different types of animations. It's really, really flexible and really, really cool in terms of what you can do. Now, like I said, I use the same slider on the Joomla Beat website and I'm doing this video because a lot of people have asked me, what on earth is that slider that you're using? And it is the Unite Revolution slider. I'll just scroll through here. You can see that the podcast episode actually plays from here as well. So I can embed iframe content, so rich HTML5 content, I'll just slide across. Here's the interview with Matt Mullenweg and go across more and interview with Michael Babker as well. So it's really flexible in what you can do and I'll show you just how easy it is to update and use in the back end of your site too. So I'll just flick over to the back end of the site. I'll hover over components, I'm already there, components and then Unite Revolution slider and it will take me to the screen here. Now I've already set up a particular slider here called full width and this is my main parameter slider that sits on the site. I'll just click on that for it to load. Now I'm doing this all on our live site at the moment. You can see all the different parameters here. You can see uh, the name of it, the parameters in regards to the slider, uh, slider width. Uh, in this case it's actually full width so it's going to take up the full width of the screen and uh, that's that full screen effect that I really like and uh, that's what we're using at the moment. We've got the height specified, we have some animation effects on the right hand side here under general, the delay, if it's, is it touch enabled for, for uh, iPhone and iPad devices and uh, other smart tablets etc, whatever they're called these days, they keep on changing the name on me. Uh, the stop hover effects and so forth, lots and lots of different uh, types of options that you can choose from to really customize how you want the revolution slider to animate. So you can see here mobile it doesn't display, we've got thumbnails that we can enable as well, navigation types, uh, we've got it centered vertically at the moment that we can see here, these little nav buttons, uh, and etc etc. So there's lots of things that we can change there. Now what I'm going to do is just close this and show you the process of adding a new slide. It's really quick and really easy. I'll click over here on the right hand side under edit slides. Kind of makes sense doesn't it? Now I'm going to add a brand new slide here so instead of clicking add new I'm going to hit duplicate so I can duplicate one of the pre-existing ones here so I don't have to reconfigure everything over and over again. I'll hit the duplicate button Thinking, 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 refresh. Beautiful, great. I'm going to edit the slide now and I'll just change a couple of the parameters here. So first off, I'll give this a title and my 50th episode's coming up. So I'm going to call this 50th episode. Great. Uh, I'm going to choose a different transition slide for the background here. I'm going to use slide from the top. Where's slide top? Slide up, slide down. Yeah, so it's coming from the top of the screen down. Great slot amount, we don't need to worry about that. This is different types of animation types and it will affect different animations in different ways. The slide down doesn't get affected by the slot amount. Uh, you can see there in the tooltip which animations it does affect. Uh, transition duration I can change but I'm going to uh, leave that for now. Uh, enable full width video. 
that's an interesting option. I will take advantage of video, but not in this slide, but you can make the full width video appear in the background of a slider as well, which is absolutely amazing. Now what I'm going to do for this one, I'm going to change and customize this one so it suits my 50th episode. I'm going to change the image first, which is the background. And I believe I have to actually upload this image because I haven't uploaded it yet. So I'm just going to slide down. Is this my backgrounds? Yep. Scroll down a little bit. Now this screen is very familiar for many other parts of Joomla. So I'm just going to choose the fifth year background, start the upload. Probably should have done this before. There it is, 50th background. I'll select that one and press insert. <clears throat> Great fireworks, big celebration. That's the idea. So I'll just uh, I'll just keep that background. That looks good. Now I'm going to change some of this text here. And the reason why I duplicated the the layer or the slide is so that I'll get the positioning of all this text the same. And if I scroll down a little bit and click on, uh, I'll just click on this one. It will take me down to the, the HTML for it. Now you can see the XY coordinates, 50 and 90. Now I can easily just drag this around and uh, choose where I want this bit of text to appear. But I want it to be consistent and the same as all my other slides. That's why I duplicated it. So I'm going to change that back to 50 and change that back to 90. Uh, just press tab. And we'll go back at the top. Great. Okay, it's back to normal. Now I'm going to change the text here. 50th episode coming right up. Excitement. Great. So under that, what have we got? Looking at the top 50 extensions, I'll change this text as well. Uh, having a panel of experts talking about the Joomla ecosystem great and a little bit more text here I'll change this one too join me for the 50th episode helps if I can spell right episode talking all about Joomla and I'll put a break line in and how to make money with an open source business model. There we go. So we can see how it appears at the top there. I might just redo this a little bit so it's a little bit nicer. Great, yep, that looks nice and even. Now over here on the layer sorting, I can see the animation time when all of these particular layers will come into effect. So it's coming in here at 200 milliseconds, 400, 600, 800, which, what is this? Ah, yep, it's that little element there. I'm going to delete that in a second. And then what do we have here? The uh, final read, the show notes and comments. So I can change all of this and change the animation timing. And of course, if I scroll down a little bit further here, where is it? Animation type. So I can choose how this element, this layer on this particular slide is going to animate onto the page. Now I'm going to get rid of some of these things here. I don't need this bit here. Where, where is it? That one. Scroll back up and delete that layer. But I do need to add a video layer here. So I'm going to click on video layer and you can see here all I need to do is add in the YouTube ID example blah 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 so I have a YouTube video just open here and it happens to be the trailer for the uh, what do you call it the 50th episode so I'll click on here share the episode grab that YouTube ID flick back to the page now I only need the ID so I'll just hit back there so I only have the ID looks fantastic I think I can search here ah there we go okay cool so I put in the ID hit search this is actually the very first time I've ever put in a video so this is quite exciting let's add this video was it done all right just dumped it at the very top cool so I'll just drag this down make it look pretty I'll put it over here there we go 
So I've just added in the video there. It looks quite nice in that position. Now I'm just going to change this link here that takes me to the show notes, which in this case will take me to more information about the Google Plus Hangout. So now there's a little trick here. If you click on this, I've actually made that a link. So if I click on that, that's an active link and it'll actually take me to the show notes page. And I keep on doing this. I know I shouldn't be clicking on that. So I'll click on the layer here. And here I can actually delete and change the link just by adding in HTML code. So I'm gonna keep the text the same, read the show notes and comments, and then go to the Joomla Beat website, not that one, where did it go, here, and just grab that link so I can uh, link it directly in the slider itself. I really hate this newsletter pop-up that I've put on. All right, yeah, I really hate that newsletter pop-up. Someone complained to me, so I take it off. All right, so I'll grab the link. That's great. I'll go back to the slider here, paste in the URL. Now I'm just going to tidy some things up and take away the domain. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to change some of the animations here so it looks a little bit more specky. Uh, I'm also going to change the Y position here, the vertical. Uh, reduce it maybe by 300. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. Yeah, that would do for now. All right, I might tweak that so you may see it differently. Okay, where was I? Animations, that right, that's right. Okay, so I'll go to the first layer here, the very top layer, short from the left, so that means it's gonna come in quickly from the left-hand side, so I like that. So I'm gonna keep those all coming in from the left. That's coming in from the left, that's coming in from the left. The read more is coming in as well, and it's coming in before the video, do I want that? Yeah, sure, but I'm going to change the timing here. I'm going to change it to 800 seconds, so it's going to be nice and quick. Oh, 800 milliseconds, so it will come in just under a second. And on the video, I'll make it sure it comes in from the right. Long from the right, yeah, so it's a little bit slower and a little bit delayed. Autoplay? Do I want autoplay? No, I don't want autoplay. Link to slot. No, okay, I'll leave the rest the same. Let's have a quick little preview of what this, I'll hit the save just in case I lose this. And uh, might as well just save and close. Great, that layer's enabled. I'm going to disable a couple of these other slides. We don't need this many slides. I'll just have the last two and I'll clear the cache. Cache cleared, that's a bit of cache there, nine megs and I'll test this on the front end of the site. Let's have a look at what damage I have done. Come on. There we go, awesomeness, absolute awesomeness. Let's click on play, let's see if that video works. Oh, I hate looking, watching myself. It's, yeah, let's, let's just stop that. I'm getting used to hearing myself, but watching myself now, oh, I had to, that's a terrible facial expression. A little bit better, all right, let's stop it there. Cool. Right, so that's Unite Revolution Slider. You saw how easy it is to customize the slider. The CSS behind it is really, really easy to customize too. Now let me throw a curveball in here. I've just been given a copy of Unite Revolution Slider 2. And it's completely changed. Well, not completely changed. It's added in a whole bunch of new features and it looks absolutely special. Now, the guys at Unite Revolution, not Unite Revolution, at Unite CMS haven't released this yet. So this is a pre-release version that I got to do a review on. And so far, it looks fantastic. So in a few days after this video is posted, hopefully it has been pushed out there as well. But let's have a look at some of the stuff in the back end so you guys have a little bit of a sneak peek at what this slider can do. So first off, I'll create a brand new slider here. Cool, I'll call this test, not tets, test. Fantastic, and I'll go full screen. This is a bit different, this is a new option here. So we have some more options here. So I can do a full height one as well for force, full width, okay, cool. Force, full screen, align. Now this is cool. I get a little animated effect down here to show me exactly the space that I'm getting. 
that's different. What's this height thing here? Does the height change when I do this? 600? No, okay, all right, that, that height doesn't change. Uh, let's have a look at how this uh, affects it and uh, how it lays out. Lazy load, hey, yeah, that's a cool new added feature. Lazy load's awesome. Uh, that's That delays the loading of the slideshow until the viewer actually sees it on the page itself. So if you have a slider, say, further down the page, then the, the revolution slider will kick in. But if it's at the top, it should probably kick in already. So let me flick back to the slider. Here we go. Uh, we have some things that were already, already added in before, such as Google Fonts, Positioning, Appearance, Navigation. Oh, okay, a little shadow type. That's, that's a bit different. We've got navigation here, so we can control how the navigation uh, falls into place. We've got thumbnails, mobile visibility, that's, that's the same as before, and alternate first slide. Interesting, don't know what that is. All right, cool. Let's go create slider. Thinking, 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 thinking. Oh, alias field. That should be automatic. Shouldn't have to put in an alias. All right, create slider. Done, great. Let's add some slides. Hopefully this is very similar to the old process so I don't have to relearn something or work something out. Click on edit slides, no slides. Great, let's add a new slide. Cool, so instead of just taking me to the slide options, it actually takes me to the uh, the image gallery, so I have to upload an image here. So I'll choose that 50th episode image that I had before. Click on the insert button. All this waiting. Cool, great, okay, I've got a slide. Let's go edit the slide now. Now, it probably asked me for an image because before I duplicated, duplicated the slide. So we have some time dates. Oh, cool, cool. I can now set the uh, the time for these slides to go on and off, which is kind of useful. Transitions, great, cool. All right, what else have we got down here? More animation effects, how the background will fit on the screen. Great, and the layers down here. Now I'm just going to add in a couple of layers. I won't redo the entire slide at the moment. But I'll just use caption tags. How's that look? Ah, absolutely tiny. So I've got my CSS styles here. Let's go large, large, bold, white. Didn't do it. So it looks like this Betas version of the plugin doesn't quite update the styles yet, which is a little unfortunate, but that's all right. Let's try something else. Let's add in a video layer here. Cool. YouTube, a little bit of styling needs to be done there. That's all right. Test, all right, cool. I missed my YouTube video link. All right, cool. I'll copy this again. Go back to the podcast, paste, search. Okay, so it looks like the video is embedded nicely there. I can see the extra options here. I can loop the video, that's new. Auto play, great. I'm just going to add this video. Uh, where to go? Cool. All right, very top corner. And I'll just drag that around. Now I'll have a look at some of these extra effects here. They all look very much the same as the very first one here. I can see, oh, what's this? I think that centered it. Oh, I sure did. Now that's really handy. That's really cool with the 10 pixel margin offset on the side there. All right, that's really handy. That's a great new feature. Layer animation, what is this? Oh yeah, fade, let's go, I know, random. See what happens. Ah, hey, hang on, that's really cool. I get a little preview there as well. This new version is absolutely awesome from what I can see so far. Let's preview slide, cool, that, that's changed. Let's have a look here, come on. Cool, not too shabby. And I can play that still. Hi there, everyone. It's Peter here. Oh, that, that voice. How annoying. That expression. Let me change that. Yeah, okay. A little bit better. <laughs> All right, cool. So uh, it, it's it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I'll implement this on the Joomla Beat website a little bit later. I don't have 
quite enough time to do it right now because uh, of all these extra little features. I'm going to have a really good play with this, but it looks like an absolutely fantastic update to one of, no, not one of the best slider. It, it is my most favorite slider out there at the moment. Unite Revolution Slider by Unite CMS at unitecms.net. Check them out. Check out the uh, slider when it's up and running. Only $25, I think it's $25 US at the moment. So uh, when they release it, uh, I'll let you know. Sign up to the podcast, sign up to the mailing list, and I'll put an announcement out there. Otherwise, just sign up to the mailing list on the Unite CMS uh, website. Hang on, do they have a CMS? There we go. Stay tuned. Sign up there. Like their Facebook fan page. Come back to the Joomla Beat website. Come back to the Joomla Beat uh, uh, website to check out the brand new slider when we have it up. We also have koalas. Till next time, everyone. See ya.